Hold up, hold up, hold up, Wilson. Hold up, hold up. I got some some breaking news here, man. It says, uh, I'm looking at Sam sammobile.com, and it says Samsung didn't renew the Galaxy Note trademark. Does that mean what we think it means? No! Oh, man, this is some freaking terrible news, man. Look. Okay, it looks like we we could still possibly see another Galaxy Note, maybe a 21 or maybe a 30. I don't know how they're gonna do the nomenclature if they come out with another one, but after that, it could be it for the Galaxy Note. I mean, this is the Note 20 Ultra and it will it could very well possibly be the last Galaxy Note production you'll ever see. And that truly saddens me because today I actually wanted to do kind of a video of the, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra a year later because I opted to keep this phone instead of the new, or instead of keeping the new um, Galaxy Fold 3. I did a video previously about the Fold 3 and if it could replace a Note. It tries to do a lot of notey things, a lot of noteworthy things. <laughs> you see what I did there? But it doesn't necessarily replace a note. So I decided to keep this one and I wanted to do a video about it a year later and how it's been in my life. And then I end up pulling up sandmobile.com and seeing that uh, like tragic news. That is tragic news for a note enthusiast like myself, man. Um, wow. But let's get on with this video. Where do I start, man? The Note 20 Ultra is a badass phone. I upgraded from the Note 10, which there was nothing wrong with the Note 10, to be honest with you. And it took me a long time to get used to this gigantic camera bump on here. And to be honest with you, I still don't like it because I don't use a case and it sticks out, man, that's like a quarter inch damn near or an eighth of an inch. But you know, when you when you set it down, it just kind of, you know, you, you worry about the camera, especially if you're not using a case. I managed to skin mine up and I, I see minimal damage here on the corner of my uh, my camera bump. But other than that, man, there's nothing going on here as far as like beating up the camera bump if you don't use a case. Now, as far as like the, the fingerprint scanner, still nice and quick. As long as you get your hand on there and it's not like full of grease or gunk or maybe sometimes wet. Because I use my phone quite a bit when I'm in my swimming hole out back. So getting this thing unlocked is quick and easy. Plus, you also have the, uh, the face scanner too, which works extremely well. Uh, even in low light conditions and even like nighttime because, you know, the wife would be asleep and it's pitch black and... I'm, I'm up restless or something. I'll just hold my phone up and it'll just open up for me. But as far as like speed and, and stuff like that, this thing has not slowed down one bit. It is still just as snappy as the day I first got it, provided uh, the few times I've actually just gone in into, um, I don't know what mode that is, but uh, you know how you can go in and, and kind of clear your cache and stuff like that. I do that maybe once a month. So yeah, you got to keep doing that just to keep your device fresh. I, I don't even think it's f uh, fair for a device to have to take all the abuse you give it without refreshing that cache. But you know, the common stuff like internet browsing, opening up Facebook, Instagram, and scrolling it up and down and stuff like that. You know, just opening up a bunch of apps and just having them open in the background. Uh, it's never had a problem with that, but I do have quite the habit of going in and kind of closing everything. So I always keep my RAM nice and fresh too. And I guess I'm what you would consider a power user because I do use the Note for what it is made for, which is multitasking. I'm always whipping out this uh, S Pen and taking screen off memos and uh, doing the, uh, the split screen and, and pop-up screens or pop-up apps. Uh, like this thing is capable of doing and this always run those extremely smooth since i brought up being a power user you also know i'm a content creator and this phone has been an intricate part of my content creation over the last year actually more so than any other phone i've had before now i do have some nice fancy cameras and stuff in here but this thing right here it's been a beast uh we'll start off with the easiest job it has which is taking for probably 95 percent of my thumbnail pictures now i'm not the best at thumbnail pictures but at least i know i can get a crispy one out of this on auto but when you take it off auto you can put it in pro mode and that's where you get to choose from like uh, 30p 60p uh, 30p and 24p and i like to shoot in 24p although recently i bumped it back up to a uh, 30p just to kind of keep everything fluid because a lot of things won't do 24p like the uh, auto mode on the um on the rear camera of this phone, it will on auto, it will not do 24p. So a lot of times I would have to manually put it in 24p on pro mode to match up with the rest of my cameras. And I, that just got annoying. Anyway, I've digressed a little bit, but uh, I like to put this thing 
in 24p and shoot some of my b-roll footage that you've seen in some of the videos but also probably one of the biggest jobs this phone has had is recording all my audio from my earbud and headphone uh, videos so what i do here is i just put it in pro mode because in pro mode you can actually uh, choose which audio you want. You Do you want to use an external microphone, the internal mics it has here, or whatever you're connected to via uh, Bluetooth. So it's all, it's been nice to have that. And I noticed, I didn't bring this up in my Galaxy Fold video, but the Galaxy Fold does not have a pro mode on the cameras, on the camera setup it has. So there was no way I could have done that with the Galaxy Fold. And that, that just lends more truth. This is a power user and even content creator phone. So this thing has been such an intricate device in my video production as a content creator and a power user. I've done multiple uh, PDF and contracts on this phone when it comes to taking uh, maybe a Word document, to, uh, converting it to a PDF, then signing that bad boy in S Note, or maybe sometimes even just in regular uh, Microsoft Office and sending it back to where it needs to be. So, I mean, as far as like making work more fluid, this phone has been a beast. And it's all really because of the S Pen, because, you know, a lot of people just think the S Pen is an afterthought. And I think Samsung is starting to make it seem like that because they've attached it to the S21 and now they've attached it to the Galaxy Fold 3. Now that's fine and dandy to give those phones some X S Pen functionality, but in order to have it with you, to use it like you want to on the fly when you need it, you need to have a home for it and not just some in some bulky, you know, like poorly designed case. It lives right here, right inside of the pen. And I cannot tell you how many times a day I just slide this thing out, start jotting down some uh, some notes in my head or something like that. Uh, you know, not, not just for videos. I mean, I get it. I'm a content creator, so I have to have that kind of stuff going on in here. But even the other day, my wife and I were, you know, plotting out some more or some new Christmas decorations on our house. So I went ahead and took my measurements, you know, and, and I jotted them down right there with the pen. And it just everything's just so fluid instead of having to type everything because, you know, I'm not the best keyboard warrior out there. Now, I know a lot of y'all are some hardcore keyboard warriors and y'all are really good at using your thumbs. Sometimes you really shouldn't, but I prefer using my S Pen here. Oh, it's reminding me. Do you have your S Pen? Yes, I got it. I'll slide it back in. Hey man, the S Pen is a very integral part of what makes a Note a Note. Not only is the Note a powerful phone that could literally outclass some of the laptops out there if you hook it up, you know, with decks and stuff like that, but I mean, it also has that S Pen functionality, which allows you to do things like this that you can't do. Let me see here. <laughs> Hold on, let me, all right, I got my camera going here, right? So if you just take a picture, let me take a picture of the studio. Wilson, get out the way. There you go, okay, yeah. I can just click that right there. And now I got a picture going with, did you see what I did there? I did not press, I'll do it again for you. I did not press the uh, camera shutter button. I just press that, boom. And I've done that so many times when I'm taking selfies like for Instagram or some stupid trash like that. Now I can go on and on about how great this phone has been for the last year, but let's be honest, man, you wouldn't understand it if you wasn't already using a Note. Now, some of you Note users, whether you were using a 8, 9, 10, or 20, you've already transitioned into a Galaxy Fold. But here's the raw truth. If you can easily do that, you probably shouldn't have been using a Note phone in the first place. You should have been using an S series. Uh, I know I probably hurt your feelings, but it's the truth. Damn! If you can transition from a note to a fold with that, that awful, like broken S Pen experience, uh, you, you probably should have been using an S series phone anyway. You, you just had a note because it was the biggest one Samsung made. You were just trying to, you know, just, ugh. Anyways. <laughs> I've just met a lot of people who will just get the biggest, baddest thing out there and barely use it for what it's for. And that's probably what you were doing. Let's just be real about that. I just wish that Samsung would come to their senses and uh, continue on this note line. Quit jacking around with us. You know what I'm saying? I did a survey today, a poll on the community channel, and I think I found out that a lot of you guys don't upgrade every year. So you wouldn't be necessarily trying to upgrade from a Note 20 to a Note 30 or whatever this year. Anyways, you would be waiting till next year's version or even a lot of you said that you just use a phone till it dies, which is great because these phones last a long time. It's just that they keep up in the ante on technology and you know, some of us just want it, you know? But uh, if you're 
every two year guy like myself, I've, I've traditionally been an every two year guy. Uh, I would definitely be looking forward to next year's phone. But the, the fact that they keep, you know, kind of, you know, dangling the carrot, you know, in and out of our faces with, is there going to be another note? It's kind of frustrating, man. So I wish Samsung would just, you know, put out some hard news instead of all this speculation about, is there going to be another one? Because this one was great but it's not gonna be great forever. Today, it is great. If you wouldn't picked up this phone today, it would still outclass damn near all the phones that are coming out today, even though this one is actually a year older. As a matter of fact, if I was in the phone market today and I needed a new phone, I would go get this one, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, because it still outclasses a lot of phones that are brand spanking new. Oh. But Samsung don't want to listen to that, man, just because the, the fold sales are doing well. And I'm glad they are because I'm all about this new technology, man. This, the folding screen, that is just the mar uh, modern tech marvel. And I really like where they're going with it, but it doesn't have to replace something. It should just be an addition to. So I know Wilson's over there. He, you know, he's look at him, man. He's got the little Michael Jordan crying face. He's all sad over there. But. I guess it's happening, man. I, we, we might want to just start holding on real tight because we might not get another one of these bad boys. Either way, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just a sad, depressed guy about, you know, a newer version of his phone not coming out next year. That, that's who I am today. <laughs> you ready to get out of here, Wilson? I got to go get Wilson some tissues, man. He's looking real sad over there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, y'all still here? Look, man, the video's over. But if y'all still want to hang out, I'm getting ready to head over to my podcast. It's called Talk To Me. The podcast nobody asked for, but I'm giving it to you anyway. So go ahead and go on your phone and go on there and, and uh, yeah, click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then go to the, uh, the Talk To Me Clips channel and hit the, yeah, the notifications and the subscribe. Yeah. All right, man, I'll see y'all when I get there. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?